Our objective for today is solving graph multi-step one variable equations, but today we're looking at absolute values. Let's read together, one, two, three. I can solve and graph multi-step one variable equation involving absolute value. So today is going to be the culmination of our equation module, our, our section for equations. And um, and this part is is fairly, it, it, like I said, it's fairly simple as long as you understand the concept of what absolute value is. Now, in the past, You've already covered this. We kind of introduced it at the beginning of the year. So by now you should know exactly what we're talking about when, when we say absolute value. But to clarify, let me go over once again what absolute value is. Absolute value is a distance of a number away from zero. Absolute value is a distance of a number away from zero. Okay? Uh, no, just I'm just elaborating. So once again, let me move forward. We already know what one variable equations are. Is that correct? We don't need that. We already know our steps. Is that correct? All right. So I do need you to copy these next steps, though. Three steps. Before we get to the four steps, which is simplify, isolate, plot, and check, we need to do this to the absolute value, which is Leave the absolute value by itself, which means isolate the absolute value. And how do we do that? By using inverse operations. Step two, write two equations without absolute value symbols. That means we're going to start solving after that. And then at the end, we get a solution. Okay, copy that, please. Bless you. All right, so three steps. Isolate the absolute value by inverse operations, write two equations without absolute value symbols, and solve each equation. So, once again, to clarify, what is an absolute value? What did we say it was? The distance of a number away from zero. The distance of a number away from zero. The distance of a number away from zero. The distance of a number away from... So now, this is the symbol that we used, okay? The symbol is two bars, okay? Does everybody understand that? So what is the absolute value? <laughs> distance of a number away from zero. And the reason I'm going over this, because you're going to need this later on, and I just want to make sure that you understand what we're looking at. So absolute value is what? <laughs> we got this? All right. So, what did you say? One more? Okay, so what is the actual value? <laughs> so we got this, right? All right, so let's put, it to you, uh, let's put it this way. If we ask the question, what is the distance of negative 20, 23, away from zero? There it goes. How many steps is it going to that direction? 23 steps. Now, we don't count distances in negative numbers, do we? We always count in positive numbers. So therefore, absolute value is the same as saying what is the distance of that number from zero. Another way of writing that is like this. What is the absolute value of negative 23? That means the same as what is the distance of negative 23 away from zero. How can we write that question in symbols? Well, absolute value is like this. Absolute value of negative 23. And what is that? 23, Michael Jordan. So anyways, uh, any questions in that regard? But what if I ask the question in a different way, like this? What if I say, what number is 23 steps away from zero? So let's see. Do we know the number yet? No. So therefore, I would write absolute value of x is, is an equal sign, and... 23 steps. Are we there? I, I, I understand that, that some of us, for this is obvious, for, for, but for some other people it's not. That's why I'm clarifying. So be nice. Be nice, boss. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Okay, question. So... Julia is saying, look up, please. Julia is saying that now how it's written, 
couldn't it be two numbers that are 23 steps away from zero? Yes, that is true. Which is the first number? Either 23 or negative, negative 23. Now we have two answers. Therefore, <laughs> the answer for this problem is one negative, so therefore x equals negative 23, and x equals positive 23. There will, uh, most of the time, there will be. Most of the time. Listen to, the, to what I just said. Okay, let, let, me, let me pause for a little bit. Okay. So, copy this, please. We have the absolute value of x equals 23, and Julia said, well, couldn't it be two numbers? Yeah, our two numbers are negative 23 and 23. This is just to illustrate, but this is the process that I want to see, that you indicate that you're going to do two equations, one negative and one positive. Now, how do I want the solution set? From this point forward, I want to see a solution set for absolute value. You're going to do this. The solution set for this is negative 23, comma, 23 with the brackets. Copy that. So, fairly simple, right? And now, like some, some, some of us say, Mr. Q, can't you just see and know the answer? Come on. Well, yeah. So let's do another one. Do this one by yourself. Example 1a. Solve the equation absolute value of x equals 12. Make sure you write your answer in the uh, solution set. Copy that and solve. So, answer, solution set, negative 12, 12. Hands if you got that. That is correct. So therefore, at this point, we know that there's going to be an answer as a negative and an answer as a positive. Is that correct? All right. So let's kick it up a notch. Copy this one. Example 1b. Just copy it, and then I'll, I'll, I'll help you uh, with the first step, and then we'll continue together. Here we go. Pens down, eyes up here. Line down the equal sign. Now, what is the first step I ask you to write for absolute value equations? It says to do what? Isolate the absolute value, which means we need to leave the absolute value by itself. What's next to it? Negative 3 or minus 3. So what is the inverse? Add 3, add 3. Absolute value of x equals 26, and you know what to do from there, right? Copy that and finish it off, please. Okay. So from here, you should have gotten solution set, negative 26 and 26. And have you got that? Yeah, right? So once again, one negative and one positive. So this is x equals negative 26, x equals 26. All right, let's, cr let's crank it up a notch. Here we go. Copy this one, example 1c. Example 1c. It says, Solve the equation, 8 equals absolute value of x minus 2.5, okay? So, pens down, eyes up here. Now, let me show you uh, to make sure that we got the first step that I gave you. The first step is to leave the absolute value by itself. Is there anything outside the absolute value? No, it's already isolated. So, the only thing now, we have a negative 2.5 inside. Is that correct? But what if we didn't? Notice that now the absolute value is on the right side. Is that correct? So, what would be our next step from there? 2, 1 negative, and 1 positive. Is that correct? So, therefore, hold on. So, this would be, instead of 8, it becomes what? Negative 8 equals x, and how about over here? Positive 8 equals x. Are we there? Okay, let me go back to the previous one. We're here. One of them is negative, so x equals negative 26. 
the other one is positive, so x equals 26. But the only thing, the variable is on the left side. Is that correct? So now we are here. Notice here, if, if this absolute value sign was right here, then that means negative 8 equals x and positive 8 equals x. Are we there? Are we there? Up to right there. However, now we have that. Well, guess what? We write it next to the x. Everybody see what I'm doing? Yes. Once again, uh, no. Because right now, since we don't know the number, this remains the same. Well, we need to find, we need to find the number, what it is, right? So at this point, do we know how to solve these two equations? Yeah. Line down the equal sign. What do I do here? Add 2.5 to each side. Add 2.5 to each side. This is negative 5.5 equals x. Right here, add 2.5, add 2.5. Therefore, this is 10.5 equals x. My solution set is negative 5.5, 10.5. Copy that, please. Yeah? If you put any one of them in the party, you get like only one point. Yeah. Let's do another one. As you're finishing up that one, let me make some space here. Example Q. Copy this one. Let's do um, 10 equals absolute value X plus 3. See if you can do that one by yourself. Same process and see what you get at the end. Go. All right, check with the neighbor, see what they got. Okay, here goes the process. Line down the equal sign. We can't do anything here, so therefore, this is negative 10 equals x plus 3, and positive 10 equals x plus 3, right? One negative, one positive. So therefore, let's see. Minus 3 minus 3, we got negative 13 equals x. Minus 3 minus 3, we got 7 equals x. Solution set, negative 13 comma 7. Hands if you got that. Okay, all right, let's move on. Copy this one. Example 1D, bless you. Solve the equation, it's got 3 times the absolute value x plus 7 equals 24. So let's see. I'm going to help you out with the first step. Here it goes. Boom. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, out of the steps that I ask you to write down for absolute values, what is the first step? What does it say? Isolate the absolute value. That means leave it by itself. What's outside of the absolute value here? What is it doing? Multiplying. Multiplying. So what is the inverse? Divide by, three. divide by 3. Divide by 3. We're left with absolute value x plus 7 equals 8. Do you know what to do from there? Yeah, finish it off, please. Go. All right, so from here... We got x plus 7 equals negative 8. Then x plus 7 equals 8. So from there, subtract 7, subtract 7. x equals negative 15. Subtract 7, subtract 7. x equals 1. Solution set, negative 15, 1. Hands if you got that. Okay, yeah. Brackets. What? No, just write it like this. Here we go. Write this down. Negative 2, absolute value. X minus 3, absolute value. Minus 4 equals negative 8. Let's see. I'm going to let you do this one by yourself. See, I'm going to let you uh, struggle for a little bit. 
But remember the first step, isolate the absolute value. That's key. Copy that and go. Really? All right, here we go. Uh, let's see, Sergio, what would be our first step? You would, um, well, I, I, add, I added also what I mean. I added minus 2 to the isolate. But the 2 is multiplying. There's multiplication and there's subtraction. Where do we start? Add subtraction. Therefore, I add 4, add 4. We got negative 2, absolute value x minus 3 equals negative 4. What is the next step? Divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. Absolute value x minus 3 equals 2. Do we know what to do from there? Yes. Who got it to right there by yourself? Okay, not bad. All right, so your home play is uh, a play sheet. So there's no tutoring today. Get your play sheet, enjoy your home play. See you guys tomorrow.